Welcome to our feature clip introducing the new on-premise support user for SAP Business One Release 9.2. The new on-premise support user has been built into SAP Business One 9.2, providing you with the ability to perform system maintenance and support without the need for an additional license. The support user is available when the remote support platform, known as RSP, is activated and an RSP system status report has been uploaded within the last seven days. Information such as login, logout time, name, reason and machine information is logged and can be reviewed via the administration license support user log. One of the key benefits with the on-premise support user is having no disruption to your business as SAP Business One users are not being forced to log out of the system to free up a license during system maintenance and support activities. It also provides a clear audit trail on support user activities. A typical business scenario is when OEC Computers requires SAP Business One support from their resident IT consultant. The IT consultant firstly runs a remote support platform system status report which is a prerequisite within seven days of logging into SAP Business One as a support user. The IT consultant uses the support B1 user to log in and enters his full name, John Meyer, and consulting as the login reason. The IT consultant is then able to perform the necessary support activities. Let's see how this is executed in SAP Business One Release 9.2. We are now about to log in to our remote support platform in order to activate and run the system status report. So I'm firstly going to enter my administration details and log in to the remote support platform. Now that we're logged in to the remote support platform for SAP Business One, I simply navigate to Tasks and then Active Tasks. And then I select the system status report. And once I've selected that, I click on Run. I then have the option to select the systems that I would like to run the system status report for. In this case, I'm only going to run the system status report for OEC Computers UK. Then I click Next. Now you can see that the system is executing the system status report task. Once the execution of the system status report is complete, we simply click Finish. Under Task Results, we can see that there is one task, the system status report that we've just run, that's awaiting to be uploaded to SAP. So we simply select Upload. As we can see here, the upload has been successful. If we now go to Uploaded, we can see that the system status report has been uploaded to SAP. This task only needs to be scheduled every seven days, so now we can log in as a support user and perform the required support user activities. We are now going to log in to SAP Business One as the IT support consultant. Once we have logged in, with the correct credentials, the system will check if an RSP system status report has been uploaded within the past seven days. And if yes, the support user login window appears. If not, an error message will appear stating that the system status report has not been uploaded within the past seven days. In the support user login window, we simply enter our name. In this case, it's John Mayer. We then enter the login reason, and our login reason is consulting, and any login details required. If you enter a login reason as other, then you need to include more specific login details. This system message indicates that the support user cannot use Enterprise Search or any other analytical features as a support user in SAP Business One. Now we are logged in to SAP Business One, the support user still has access to some basic dashboards and can build some basic dashboards. 
You can review the support user details in the system by going into Administration, Setup, and under General, Users. As you can see here, the support user needs to assign a password as there is no predefined password for this user. If we actually check the license administration details under Modules, Administration, License, and then License Administration, we will see that the actual support user has no specific license attached to this particular user. In other words, it doesn't consume a normal license. If we now check the support user log window, again, we simply go to modules, administration, license, and then support user log, we can actually see a summary of the support user login details. Under the support user log window, you can see the login reason, consulting for example, the person that's logged in, the actual machine address, and any other details, the start time, session end time, for example, of the actual support consultant activities. You can also see under here that the add-on access login details that you can see logged is a system add-on which supports internal user-defined fields and is started automatically with SAP Business One. This is a very simple introduction to the on-premise support user now available in SAP Business One Release 9.2. Thank you so much for your time and make sure you check out our other feature clips highlighting what's new in SAP Business One Release 9.2.